welcome to my channel. My name is Emily and today we are in a different setup but I wanted to do and try something a little bit different. So I usually talk about books so I thought or well, maybe I should actually make bookish food. Like isn't that a good idea? The first thing I decided that we should make slash try is I've got the recipe here for a treacle tart. So, if you don't know where this is from, um, well, it's in Harry Potter. Yes, we know. I thought it would be an easy way to start, I don't know, just to start this series, especially that I'm a fan of Harry Potter. And like a lot of the desserts in that in the movie, in the, in the book, as well, like I don't actually have never tried because they're really British, and treacle tart is one of those things. And I thought it was like some like fruity like pie, so I never thought about making it. And then I did some research into it, and I'm like, it's just golden syrup, literally just golden syrup, pretty much. So I bought golden syrup and the rusty ingredients for this tart, and we're gonna make it on this channel. So I was thinking try and start a series. If there's any other bookish food that you can think of, like comment below what it could be and I'll try making it. I'll try and make it some sort of series, I don't know what. Anyway, so I haven't actually read through the method yet, so that's gonna be so much fun. We we love an organized person. So at least I've actually printed off the recipe because I usually just leave it up on my phone on my phone or my computer and Lily just walk to and from my computer to the kitchen to like try and measure out everything. It is a mess. Anyway. So I ended up just buying a flame case because I did not want to go through the hassle of making shortbread. Even though it's got the recipe on this full of crust. I don't want to do that. Sorry. I don't. <laughs> it looks horrible. It takes an hour and a half to make it with the pastry. And I'm like, no, let's cut time and let's not do that. Okay, all good. I thought it cut off the rest of the method for a minute, for a minute there. But it's only for the crust and we're not making the crust. So, well, let's get this organized. So I'm going to put this on a tray. Let's hope that this isn't cracked. It doesn't sound cracked, but I'm hoping it is not. Because honestly, I do not tr trust people when it comes to pastries sometimes. It is stable. This is good. Okay. Oh good. Hopefully we don't make too much. This is really shallow. This feels really shallow. I don't know. So we'll see what we can do if we got extra. Because I'll just go follow what the recipe tells us to put in. Okay, where do we start? We it's already baked. So it's all good. Uh, place the golden syrup on zest and juice into a medium saucepan. Oh, we're meant to heat this up. Oh my god. And I had like a bowl to prepare it. Okay, so I actually meant to heat it up. Okay, this is gonna be okay. We're gonna move. Okay, hold on tight. <laughs> okay, so we have officially moved into our new space. So now I have to cook this. I have never. I don't really like cooking things that then go in the oven. I don't know. That's just me. Any gone syrup. One and a quarter cups. It's one. I'm just figuring out what we're doing. Yeah, that's exactly one. So it's one cup. Yeah, I know. I think I'm not on my. Yep, there's light. I hate sticky things. Like, absolutely despise them. So zest and juice from one lemon. Um, yeah, I got lazy and decided to just buy lemon juice. So 
Um, we're just going to guess how much would be from one lemon. That should be enough. And I'll just say one. Okay, we'll stir that for five minutes. but who has time to make fresh breadcrumbs? Is it hot? Oh yes, that's hot. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's hot. Oh, oh bad. There you go. Hmm. Also something I'd love to do with this series too is actually just cook things that I actually like enjoy cooking and like to show you like different things that you can cook in the kitchen like that'd be cool but I feel like something f to do first is like to try new things first before showing you things that I love to cook because I feel like it'd be just funny you know, trying to figure out what I can cook and what I can't cook and yes I just did smell the breadcrumbs thank you very much that's a good koi wake up It looks weird, but it looks cool at the same time. Like, it's all lumpy. It looks kind of cool, but at the same time, I don't understand how this is Harry Potter's favorite dessert. Like, yeah. Like, one fact about Harry Potter and Treacle Tarts is that apparently he loves it that much that it's actually a part of his like love potion smells like you know how like Hermione's like oh I can smell like mint and like freshly mowed gra uh, grass apparently Harry can smell treacle tart so I'm like thinking I hate the smell of syrup like syrup grosses me out like, I don't mind maple syrup but like golden syrup I don't know it's different so, I'm excited to see if I'm on the same page as Harry or not. Even Ron, he loves treacle tart, so. I feel like I could, like, make a cookie or something out of this, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's all mixed in. What do we do now? Um, lightly beat egg and cream together. Oh, I wanted to turn that. Okay, turn the heat off. Turn it off. We are turning that off. Okay, so let's move that to the side. Is off, and so the heat is off now. Okay, so now it's time for the egg and the the egg and the cream, and then it's ready to go into the pan. So I'm looking forward to this. Okay, and that's so that's the door. <gasps> I just cracked an egg in there. Oh my god. Hell. One. Two. I feel like I've left the egg in there for too long there. It looks like it's cooking. So I need to stir this like pronto. beat with a fork but I can't be bothered getting a fork out so we're gonna do it this way yeah I feel like I could make 
like a cookie or something or like I mean, it couldn't be a brandy snap but you know what I mean like I could make something but it's not like thick enough to make like a cookie so I don't know what to do with the leftovers because I feel like it's not going to fit in that pan but I don't know if it's because the breadcrumbs are still open or I smell I just think this smells like breadcrumbs it's close to breadcrumbs <laughs> It still smells like breadcrumbs. <laughs> though it looks good though. I'll get you in a close-up. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. That's looking alright so far. Okay, so now... The last step... Oh. Pour it in the oven. Could you please give me this in Celsius? I don't know. Do it at a hundred. I'll figure it out. Um, Let's leave it at sixty. Okay. So now time to pour. I'm very good wrapping skills. I know that much for sure. Let's pull this bad boy in. Can definitely fit more in that. I think that's full. I don't think we can fit much more in Jesus. So this is what treacle tart looks like before it goes in the oven. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like shit. <laughs> shit in a tart. That's what it's going to be called now. Shit in a tart. And also Harry Potter has bad taste, so shit in a tart because the Harry Potter has bad taste. Even though we don't know that yet. Time to put her in the oven. And how long does it go in the oven for? We don't know yet. We'll figure that one out. So I should be in for 20 minutes. So I just got to put a timer on my phone. 20 minutes on. Then we just have to sit and wait for 20 minutes. Okay, so I've just taken out the tart from the oven. It looks good. It's looking golden. Maybe I might have overcooked it a little, but... It looks good. Uh, with the leftover mix, I just put it in a puddle and hopefully, yeah, I don't know. Should be nice, I hope. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it. It smells actually pretty alright. So, maybe Harry Potter doesn't have shit taste, but we'll still have to confirm that, whether or not he does. Tart is ready to cut into. I'll just get one um, slice and we'll just try it between the two. I'm going to get the um, taste tester to taste some. He's a little camera shy, so what did you like about what did you, didn't you like about it? It's good. It's just weird. I'm going to taste it something like it. Mm. Fair enough. Can I have a brand piece? Sure. <laughs> so, my opinion, does, is Harry Potter's taste shit? Not that bad, but it's still questionable. And anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment below any other bookish food you'd like me to try. And until next time, bye!